Okay, my uh, Victron Orion that's under my seat, seat passenger seat base here, is uh, overheating. Um, I, I just finished a, a long trip and I had it set on 30 amps of output and I had my Kise, of course, set at 50. Um, and it, uh, the Orion heated up to 141 degrees was the highest temperature I saw. And it actually caused my Kise to overheat and stop producing. So as soon as I turned the Orion off, then the Kise almost immediately was able to cool down and start producing its 50 amp output. Because of the heat, even at 30 amps of output, the Victron Orion uh, uh, XS 50 amp DC to DC charger, it derated its power. So even at, at a 30 amp output, because of its overheating, it um, went down to 26 amps as the output. So um, I'm going to add a fan. I'm not necessarily happy about this because I was expecting this Orion XS. XS not to overheat like the um, marketing is saying you know that it doesn't doesn't really overheat but it does overheat so I'm going to add a fan um, I really wish I would have went with a second Kise DC to 50 amp DC to DC charger because then I wouldn't have to be fooling around like this because they don't overheat um, but uh, I want to, you know, I want to continue to try to see if I can get this to work. So I'm going to add a small fan. So let's get on with it. So the first thing I've got to do is remove these four seat bolts. And that's an 11 millimeter. Uh, I use a uh, long socket. And you have to twist the seat around to get to each one. But that's an 11 millimeter six hex head socket to remove these. I actually have this 120 millimeter fan left over from my old Dometic three-way refrigerator days. So I'm just going to reuse it. Basically, I'm just going to drop it straight down. I'm just going to drop it straight down here. And uh, put it right there. And that should really blow straight underneath um, my um, Victron Orion XS and um, blow that heat right out and then I have a big uh, ventilation cutout on the top of the seat base um, so it should provide the extra blow you know fan blowing to cool down the key say I added this little Victron battery sense which is a battery voltage and temperature monitor so this is how I monitor the temperature of the key say it reads it reads the, the temperature of the case of the key say and like I said the highest temperature I saw was 141 degrees which is really quite hot and then that and then that caused my key say to overheat uh, and stop outputting so uh, I'm hoping this fan is going to solve that problem. It's a good idea, and it's it's an easy installation. I happen to have one of these uh, Victron shunt cables left over, and it has a little one amp fuse in it, so that's perfect. So I'm going to be using this to make my connections. I already have a nice convenient jack plug because um, that's what I used to use with this fan. So. So that's going to make it easier to wire. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add it to the Victron XS ignition control relay that I have in place here. So when the ignition turns on, um, this, this terminal down here is what powers the key say on the chassis battery connection when the engine starts. And this blue wire is the ignition um, control wire. So when the ignition turns on, that tells this relay to join these two terminals and provide then basically letting through the chassis battery voltage that comes 
down from that bottom terminal and into my chassis battery connection on the XS. So I'll get on with installing that and show you uh, how it turns out. Okay, so I just used the Victron, my Victron wire that I had. I used it for both the negative and the positive. You can see this little jack terminal is clearly marked positive and negative. I put the fused side, of course, on the positive, and then the other side, or the other red wire is the negative. So here, uh, I have two ends. This is the positive and this is the negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loosen that bottom uh, nut and slide my positive terminal there. Uh, for the ignition feed power, so the fan will turn on when the Xantrex or the Victron Orion XS 50 amp DC to DC charger turns on, and then I'm going to use this negative ter case terminal on my Kise installation for the ground just because it's very easy to get to. So I'm going to uh, make those connections and show you that. Okay, so I've got the, two, the fan plugged into my connector wire. You can see I've hooked the positive to that terminal and the negative right there to that terminal. Now I need to uh, tidy this all up, secure my fan, and then test it. All right, let's try this again. All right. A nice... Silent fan. Oh my gosh, it's blowing. Fabulous. Okay, so that is definitely going to do a lot for cooling that Orion. Okay, so this ventilation modification is done. I will, um, I will mon continue to monitor, but I really think this is going to solve the problem. So, I'll button this all back up and put my seat back on and I'm done with this project.